Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I've put a cash stock in of £210. Um, the money came from my child benefit money and then a mix of like Atipole, Vinted and just Facebook Marketplace for things I've been selling. So yeah, I've got a bit of money from obviously doing a little bit of side hustle. Um, £5 from Wands as well from somebody who used my referral code and both got £5. So thank you. It's been a tough week. Um, my dad actually passed away a bit suddenly. We're not really sure of the cause yet. We're still waiting to kind of like find out. But just to let you know in case I'm not watching videos, um, commenting. I know I don't need to justify myself. I know I don't even need to be here doing this video right now. But in all honesty, these videos keep me on track. And... Without these videos, without cash stuff and without you guys, I would not be where I am financially right now um, and without this method. So I would prefer just to keep going with this despite what's happened. Like it, it's not going to change anything, it's just going to help me financially. Um, and yeah, my budget might be changing depending on what we need to do, like funeral wise, but I will keep you updated along the way. Um, it's just if I'm a little bit quieter then you know why. I've got a little bit of happy to show you first so we'll do that and then we'll get into the challenges and stuff like that. So the first thing is from My Money Matters and from Esther and I ordered this piggy pile up. Now this is just one that I'll end up going into my kitchen binder um, which is actually now definitely a new house binder because I, I, I want to move house. I've decided that I want to move house. Um, so yeah, it saves £100 and yeah. And then I got a few of these fully funded. I have the pink ones, pink and purple ones. I uh, just wanted these because they're quite, they're, they're good because they're fully funded. You can just decide what amount to put in them. So that's the first thing. Thank you, Esther. Um, I then got from Save with Sophie a couple of things. So I ordered these two, which is the Fill the Jar and Money Multiplier. And I've seen these on my Spudgets channel. And this one's going to be quite fun because I like the coloured like, um, challenges, the dice challenges. And then this Multiplier one, <laughs> maybe a bit scary, but we'll try it anyway. And then Sophie Blesser put in a couple of freebies that she said were oopsies. That was not from her. And it was the £2 challenge, which saves 50 and it's got the £50 in the back, so it's similar to Scottish Highlanders. And the Whoopsie Daisy one, which I actually had my eye on after she brought it out, which is after I ordered these ones. And obviously you can decide which um, daisy is going to be, well, you can decide how much each daisy is going to be and then you've got a total there. And then there's a couple of like a little sticker and then this freebie book challenge as well, which is like £5 each, £25, which is, yeah, love them. And then the final one, um, which is what I'm most excited about, and was just why I wanted to kind of do the video, not sooner rather than later, but I definitely knew I wanted to do the video, is this Risk the Six challenge, which is from Studio Budget Co. And it's my collaboration with Charlotte. I gave her an idea that I've kind of thought about as a challenge, and she brought it to life for me. And it's Risk the Six, and the idea is that... I bought, well, Ryan bought these and I stole them from him. <laughs> um, but the idea is that you have six dice, so you've got a one to four dice, you've got a one to six dice, just normal one, then you've got the one to eight dice, one to ten, 1 to 12 and then 1 to 20 and the idea is you roll all of them at the same time write in here what your amounts are that you get and then you can either colour them in or cross them off once you've stuff, stuffed the money or stuff it all in a winner so today I'm going to stuff it all in a winner but it might be a case that I roll again for the next time and then I stuff in for the next time like in parts um, it just depends on what my budget allows and what I actually roll so again, you can do this in like pounds or pence, I suppose. Just adapt it to your budget, wherever you want. 
Um, but I love the idea of using like six different dice and I just thought it was a really fun challenge. And if anybody who's bought it, like, thank you. Because um, I'm quite excited about it. And it's got their like, like, inspired by Budget with Kerry, which I love. And this, these dice, like, they must have taken ages, Charlotte. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to do this as well today, which is exciting. I've actually budgeted the money for it since I knew about the challenge. Um, okay, so let's put them to the side just now. Oh, we'll start off with that. We'll count all the money first and then we'll start off. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 210. So I've not got any fives in here. I think I need a couple of fives, but I'll just change them out when I can. Um, and obviously I might need change as well for this game, but we'll wait and see. Okay, so let's decide what binder it's going to go in. I think it's going to go into this one. Um, we'll just put it at the front. I think we will. Gosh, this must be really painful for you guys to watch. There we go. Right, so that's in there. So let's start it and see. So I won't need the instructions because, I mean, I know how to play it because I kind of came up with it. Um, but let's see what we get. Right. Ooh. This has actually been really good to me. We might even be able to do another line. We'll see. And Wendy and so this is kind of similar to Knockout Mountain. It's not it's not similar, but you don't know what you're saving. So we've got a one, and then we've got a five, we've got a three, and an eight, and a one on the twelve sided, which is lucky, and a twelve. So I'm gonna write in here one, five, three. Eight, one, and a twelve. <clears throat> so that's twenty, twenty-five, thirty pounds. Twelve, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty. Yep. So thirty pounds. So instead of sixty, it's thirty. So we'll put the first thirty away, and then I think. Will I colour them in? I think maybe. Oh, look at this monitor's on one second. So I think I'll colour those in now that I've um like stuffed it. I think that's what I'll do going forward. So maybe even Oh, you can't see it though. Oh maybe not. Hmm, what will I do? Maybe I'll just put a wee cross to say that I've actually stuffed the money. And then what I'll do is, will I roll for next time? Hmm, let's roll for next time. Oh, I might even just put this in, you know, this is a good roll. So we've got a four, and a one, and a three, and a four, and a five, and then a one on the 20 sided dice. So we've got five, eight, 12, 17, 18, 18 pounds. Tell me if I'm wrong. Four, one, three, four, five, one. So that's 6, 10, 13, 14, 18. No, that's not wrong. I'm going to stuff that. The most you can actually get in a roll is 60 because obviously if you got the most in each dice, it would be 60. And the least you can get is a 6, obviously, because it's one on each dice. But this is the challenge and I hope you all enjoy it and hope like some of you might um, consider buying it and even trying it out because I'm excited to do this. So that's that. 
these dice we'll just say they're just now um i need to get some more change so what i'll do is do you know what i'll go to, i'll be back in a second okay so i've swapped, swapped some change out so i owe this 18 so i'm going to put three i did allocate 60 pounds towards this because i wasn't i was not um wasn't sure how much i was going to be doing and then i'll do Oh, I've just swapped out for some fives as well. 10, 5 and 18. So that's that. So in this challenge today is going 45, 48 pounds. Which, yeah, it's going to be a good challenge to do. And I'm not really sure what that's going to go towards. It might go towards my 100 envelope. I'll wait and see. Um, right, that's in here. So yeah, let me know what you all think on it. I just think it's so different to what I've seen i've not really seen anybody use the six dice before and charlotte just really did bring it to life for me so thank you charlotte there we go if i didn't cash stuff as much day i probably would have just blown it and i really don't want to do that i've, I've progressed so much in the last kind of couple of years i just don't want to do it especially like i'm probably an emotional spender and yeah i don't want to do that um, okay, so we're going to go to Mother's Day and Mother's Day is going to get 15 today, so I'm just going to put a 20 in and take a 5 out. And we'll scribble off 3, so we're doing 1, 2, 3. So in here now, we've got 25, 30. And I think this saves up 100 pounds, so that's good. It's a decent amount. There we go. I'm going to put 60 pounds towards my kitchen binder. So I slightly changed my kitchen binder and I will explain why. So we're going to have 20, mm, let's do, let's do 10 and 5. So what do I need? 20. What am I thinking? Um, oh, do you know what? I'll just keep note of what I've actually put in where. Or maybe, no, do you know what? I'll do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, gosh. 60 pounds. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then that'll leave us 60, 70, 80, and then change. But then that's from the remainder of the dice challenge. That's fine. Okie doke. <clears throat> so we're going to do... Um, yeah, we're going to do the dice. And basically I've changed these so that my... One that I had for the £20 notes, I've taken out of here, the £20 challenge, because I just find like it's going to be a slow one. And if we want to move kind of like this year or next year, then I think the better way to do it is just kind of fill these, put it into a 100 envelope, and then that's that. So I've got 0 to 9, obviously. I've got the 100 envelope at the end. And then anything that I'm, if I get 100 envelope, I'm going to just put £5 in or whatever. And then that kind of helps me along the way. I probably won't get a new one of these. Um, I'll probably just leave it as kitchen, even though it's for home. But that's fine. But yeah, so let's see what we've we're gonna do. Um, ten sided dice. I might use a new one actually. It seems to be a bit lucky. So let's see. So the first one is two, which is a flip a D, which is a new one. Um, that's here. This is from Grounded Budgets. So. We're going to do 5 or 10 and the idea is that you just flip a coin to see what it's going to get. So, so that's tails which is 10. I know that it's not a purple tail but who says? Who says it can't be purple? And then that's just a small challenge that will save me... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 pounds. 
Right, next. Oh, zero, so that was 100 envelope, I'm sure. Yep, oh no, it was it, it was rocks, paper, scissors. So, let's do a roll. Rock, which is a five. I'm surprised at that, actually, because it's been papers the whole time. So on this one we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, which I might just 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There we go. And then um, yeah, do you know what? We'll just do that. 20, 40, 60, 80, perfect. There we go. Let's see what's next. A zero again. Okay. Scissors this time. <laughs> Usual. I could do it one at a time and just like go and um, go back and do them all, but Honestly, like, see so how some people like put the five pounds in and then do the next one, and then go back and fill in all the trackers. I would forget something. I know I would. Why is this pen not working? It's a new pen. But I hope everybody else's weeks are going well in January. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what's next. Three, which is three. The flamingo five. So five pounds is going into here. Which makes 40 pounds. Why is this pen not working? I'll be raging if they're not working. That's that. Uh, next one. Oh, that's a roll. That's a nine which is a hundred envelope so in here i'm just going to put a five because that's all we've got left which is fine this could be a longer video and next is one which is nifty 90s gosh the nokia phone <gasps> Next is four, which is one after this one. <clears throat> How is two flip a D and four's bloom? I don't get that. Let's just put it in the wrong place. Anyway, we're doing bloom because that's what the tracker says. Oh, we've only got ten pounds to complete this. Just do it. Right, so that's £10 and that's going to be for the 100 envelope challenge. So we should have 110 in here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10. Perfect. So I'll leave that in here just now, but I'll get something else to replace this and then I'll put this into the 100 envelope. Um, I won't do it without you guys, don't worry, I'll just put it to the back until I've got a wee bulk in here and then I'll stuff the 100 envelope. Right, last one is a 2, which is the flip a D. I don't understand that. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. Um, right, we can only put a five in here, so I'm just going to put the five in and then mark off a fox's head. We'll probably do orange for a fox's head, I don't think. Mind you, could do purple. There we go. And we'll do a wee black nose. The pen is not working apparently. There we go. So that's that for the kitchen binder. Quite happy with how this is going. Um, like I said, we're obviously wanting to move house. Um, but yeah, it's coming along nicely. Now, I know the video is on 19 minutes long, but we're going to do our challenges as well. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 80. Seven. 
Right, I want to do something that 50 envelope. So I think I'll do 20. Yeah, I'll do 20. There we go. I do love my challenges honestly I just feel like challenges for me is the best way that works for me like I said um, before whatever works for me might not work for you you just need to kind of find your groove with cash stuff in but I love the amount of people that are starting it this year Um, yeah it's very good and I love all the people who are like asking me things in the comments so if you've got any questions please feel free to ask I do answer all the, the um, comments I may not be this week but I will I will get around to them um right challenges so let's go to sorry Wendy knockout nine knockout nine and myself have a love-hate relationship um mostly hate but it's fine <laughs> let's go on so we've got four I probably shouldn't um Test like that, eh? Four. Then we've got ten, so we're gonna do nine and one because two is not a good idea. Six. Six again. Oh, damn it. So we've got twenty-five going in. Really? <laughs> I probably oh, I'll probably stuff my um What's it called? Um, my 100 envelope once I finish this one. I'm not doing this one again today because it's 25 is a lot. Although not as much as Jasmine's creations. Jasmine's journey on YouTube, but she'd put in, I think it was £43 <laughs> in one line. Um, she got snake eyes and then snake eyes, which is why two is not a good idea to do if you can avoid it. There we go, not bothering counting that up. Now, let's go to Sudoku bl uh, Block Drop. And for Block Drop, we're going to roll the coloured dice. Uh, I might have looked twice actually, let's see. A blue, so that's this one. And another blue, so we're doing two of them things. Um, let's do. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll be just do is that thirteen, five, four, five, eight, ten, thirteen, just to get that bottom row done. There we go. So 10, 12, 13, 13. Gosh, this challenge when it goes quick. <laughs> um, right, that's that. There we go. Uh, this one here from Cash But Cute, which by the way I've ordered the Wonga set and <laughs> I can't wait for it to come, I'm so excited. Um, so let's do five, well we'll just do eight and then one, maybe that might get rid of our change. Yeah, I think we will. So we're doing eight and nine, eight and one. 
8 and 1. So we've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on here to go. Oh, there was a 9 there. Oh well. <laughs> I'll do it next time. Um, a lot of my YouTube money, which I'm due, um, is going to go into like sinking funds. So that's why the reason that I've got so much challenge money this time. Right, that's that for that binder. She is chunky. Okay. So that's Brisk the Six, which we've obviously done. That is for groceries and fuel. We've got £15 left. We're not going to do this one today. Um, let's do another orange. Again, this is from Cashbook Cute, and it is very cute. I love the Hungry Caterpillar story. There we go. So that's got £20 in it now. And then I think we'll do... I've got two in here from The Rock and Witch, and one's like uh, this one here, which is... Raindrops are falling, and then I've got a scratch it as well. So I'm going to do this one first, and I'm going to start off with five. And then once that's done, I'm going to do this one, so it saves like 75 in total. So we're going to put the five off. And then we are going to put five in two. Scouse Girl Budgets, Becca, and that's for this one here. So we've started the Wildflower wild Bonga, and I think I'm just going to knock off this other five so that the big ones are done. But yeah, I know I've got lots of challenges going just now, but I'm enjoying them all. So yeah, that's, that's all that matters. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, like, well, I'm not going to apologise, but it wasn't the best start to a video, um, but that's life, isn't it? And it's just if you guys do notice anything different or you may be wondering where I am in the comments or that, then that is the reason why. Um, but yeah, I will speak to you all soon. I will get you all updated and I will, yeah, I'll hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye.